there's nothing quite like a good dungeon crawl. Be it the castle of an evil king, the tower of a diabolical wizard, the manor house of a wealthy merchant turned cult leader, or the tome of an ancient knight, a dungeon crawl invokes the feeling of a classic fantasy tabletop role-playing game like nothing else does. And what inhabits these dungeons? Monsters, of course. And our friends at Kwood Publishing have given us another amazing monster book focused on these dungeon monsters. So today, let's have a look at Monsters of the Dungeon from Kwood Publishing and brave the darkness together. Let's get into it. Hello everyone, I'm Joe and this is the GM Toolbox, your go-to place to get all the tools that you need to enhance your TTRPG games. Before we get started today, if you like the content I'm bringing you and you want to see more, please take a moment to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell to get notified when more videos come out. This really helps to grow and support the channel so I can keep bringing you more great content. Kwood Publishing is not new here on the GM Toolbox. I've covered all their monster books in my previous videos, mainly because I find them so much fun. There's something about the style of the monsters and the art that accompanies them that gives them a unique personality, unlike any other monster books out there. So if you play 5e, be it D&D or any other 5e adjacent system, I highly recommend checking out these monster books from Kwood. Today, we're going to look at the latest addition to the Kwood monster arsenal, Monsters of the Dungeon. And honestly, this may be my favorite one. Let's dive in and see why. Here's the PDF, which Kaywood was kind enough to send me for this video, and right away you can see the artwork I mentioned. Artist Travis Hansen, known for his comic strip, Life of the Party, does all the art of these books, and I just love his style. It does have kind of a comic-esque feel to it, and it's just kind of fun. There's something about it that just gives the monsters a personality. But let's jump over to the table of contents and see what we got. We see here that there is an introduction, and then a section called You Meet in a Tavern. And then we get into the monsters, which are very uniquely broken up by dungeon type. We have Arcane, Castle, Manor, Thieves Guild, Tomb, Wilderness, and Mountain Dungeons. Right away, this is a fun way to lay the book out. Most monster books are going to list all the monsters alphabetically and then may have a table in the back with the type of environment you may find them in. But if you know you're running a castle, you can just jump right to this section and you have your monsters ready. Each section has between 14 and 22 monsters listed alphabetically in their respective sections. And there are all different types and CRs. So the first section or chapter here gives us a bit of an intro and some DM advice and then a nice table of adventure hooks such as a second adventuring party of clones of the heroes is discovered. There are 39 hooks to pick from or just roll 2d20 and get one at random. The next section is you meet in a tavern and it's kind of a fun section here. We have these seven NPCs and each is an expert in one type of dungeon. One thing you'll find with the Kwood monster books is that there's a bit of a story happening in the background as you read the book. There are characters that pop up making it a fun way to digest the information about the monsters in the book. So with this book, we have these seven characters that are going to kind of take us through each type of dungeon as they are the respective experts of that dungeon. Now we get into each of the dungeon types, the first being the arcane dungeon. We see here we can get a brief overview of what an arcane dungeon may be like, along with a random encounter table of some of the SRD monsters for that dungeon and an arcane dungeon events table. Each of the other dungeons have a similar setup and the tables at the start of their chapters. As we move on, we see this cool illustration of Brock the Brave from the previous chapter, who is the arcane dungeon expert fighting some monsters. These particular monsters are known as blabber blubs, and we'll take a look at those in a moment. But first, we have a stat block here for Brock himself. These NPC dungeon experts can serve as guides or quest givers or just a random NPC counter in the dungeon. They may even accompany your party members if they need a bit of help, so having a stat block for each of them is nice. Moving on, we see a few cool monsters, including an animated wizard's hat, because anything can be a mimic, and this really cool arcane dragon, because you can just never have too many types of dragons. But here is the Blabber Blub, which is one of my favorite monsters in this section. These things basically won't shut up and just talk about eating in ancient deep speech, which can cause a bunch of psychic damage. They won't listen or attempt to understand another creature. They just never stop talking and babble incoherently, causing chaos wherever they go. It's a fun monster to throw at the party as they may try to communicate with it, but ultimately it just wants to eat them and it's going to likely just drive them nuts. Let's move on to the next section I want to show you, which is the Manor Dungeon. 
Here, we meet Kaylin, our manor dungeon expert, and we get a whole new slew of interesting monsters. One creature I have found particularly fun in this section is the Knickknack, whose sole purpose is to steal as much stuff as possible. They're this fey creature with spell casting and magic resistance and mimicry. What actually drew me to this guy was the fact that it reminded me of those thieves in Diablo 3 that'll steal your stuff and run away with it if you don't kill them. Being that this guy can turn invisible, I feel like he'd be following the party around, just nicking their stuff without them realizing it. And then when he finally fails a check and reveals himself, he'd be this chaotic, loud little guy trying to get away and just drive the party crazy. This just seems like too much fun for a DM to not use. All right, let's look at one more section, the Thieves Guild. The Thieves Guild dungeon is a lot of fun. And here we meet our NPC, Harmonica Stars. Perhaps she's a rogue who the guild has done wrong and she's willing to help the PCs retrieve something valuable the guild stole. I just think she'd be a fun NPC to interact with. But one of my favorite creatures in this section is the Nag Hag. Cool, you gave my mom a stat block. I'm kidding, love you mom. But seriously, a creature that can nag you to death? I mean, this is giving me some childhood flashbacks and feeling a little close to home, so I'm just gonna let you check this one out. Each of the other sections is similar, and I think you can see what I mean about the personality of the monsters in this book. Just their names and art alone, without reading anything about them or their stat blocks, just kind of gives you an idea of who they are. Kaywood has definitely done something special with their monster books, and I really look forward to more of them. Be sure to check out my Kaywood playlist for all my videos on their books and interviews with their owner and writer, Andrew Kaywood. One last thing worth mentioning is that Kaywood does have their own campaign setting called Mirror, and they have a campaign setting book that'll be coming out very soon. But they are, do already have a bunch of other content for their world that's out right now and more new stuff on the way. I do have a link in the description to where you can pick up the Monsters of the Dungeon book and any other book from Kaywood Publishing. So please check that out. Monster books are always fun and you can never have too many. But tell me, what do you think of this interesting take on a monster book from Kaywood? From the art to the layout and design, their style is very unique and I personally find it compelling. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Well, that's it for today, folks. Thank you for coming on this journey with me, and I'll see you next time.